evening, everyone. Let's try that again. There we are. Good evening, everyone. My name is Tim Newcomb, and I'm the director of this production of Stronger Together. And on behalf of the artistic staff and the cast and crew, I'd like to thank you for being here with us tonight. Um, it's a privilege, and we are grateful to have this opportunity to perform live theater in a safe place. Having an audience in the same room that is willing to follow our social distancing guidelines and um, react and be, be a participant um, is a wonderful thing. We're also grateful for having the ability to perform via live stream to audiences at home and maybe even across the country. While we love imagining the idea of like a big Tony Awards style watch party where we're all gathered around a home theater system, um, we hope that our home viewers are staying safe with their quarantine and um, staying cozy at home. As the director of this production, I've had the privilege of working with a wonderfully adaptable and moldable group of students. Normally, in our performance cycle, we would be doing a classic musical this year, something like Hello, Dolly! or The Sound of Music. But when conditions caused us to think about that again and, and do something else, um, we thought, how can we be creative and address our current situation and perform a show that speaks to all of the emotions that we are going through and the struggles that we might be having. So hopefully we've done that for you tonight and you'll see a show that addresses some of those um, emotions that we might be feeling about loneliness and isolation, yet also acknowledges that we are not alone in all of this. And in the end, we are really stronger together. So we've been workshopping this show, and as we've been workshop workshopping the show, we've chosen different spoken word pieces, different musical pieces, and put them together to tell that kind of story that addresses our needs today. You'll see that we've also uh, taken great care to follow health and safety protocols throughout our rehearsal process. Um, up until this week, we wore masks at every rehearsal, no matter how far apart we were. And then when we got closer to the show, um, we made sure that the only time the masks were coming off was when we were a safe distance away from each other. So tonight, you'll see that whenever somebody is singing a solo, or maybe a duet, or even a, a trio, that they are at least 12 feet apart. And when they're not, they're putting their masks back on. Hopefully that won't be a distraction for you, but um, I think the students have done an awesome job of adjusting to those kinds of um, requests. And um, the blocking will indicate that as well. Um, and thank you, by the way, for following all of the social distancing protocols and health and safety protocols. A couple other things that we're changing for this evening's performance Normally we would have a receiving line at the end of the show where we would greet you and thank you for being here and you'd have a chance to, um, you know, mingle with the students. Tonight we won't be doing that uh, just because we want to make sure that we um, don't encourage any large group gatherings and that we keep the flow of traffic moving. But please know that we appreciate your presence here this evening and your support throughout the process. We appreciate your presence at home um, and all of the support that you've given us. With that, I think we're ready to begin the show. So enjoy Stronger Together.
Surrounded by people who used to say that rhyme about sticks and stones, as if broken bones hurt more than the names we got called, and we got called them all. So we grew up believing nobody would ever fall in love with us, that we would be alone forever, that we would never meet someone who would make us feel like the sun was something they built for us in their tool shed. So as broken heartstrings bled the blues, we tried to empty ourselves so we would feel nothing. Don't tell me that hurts more than a broken bone, that an ingrown life is something a surgeon can just cut away, that it doesn't metastasize. It does. Have you ever felt like nobody was there? Have you ever felt forgotten the middle of nowhere have you ever felt like you could disappear like you could fall and no one would hear she was eight years old our first day of grade three when she got called ugly we both got moved to the back of the class so we would stop getting bombarded by spitballs but the school halls were a battleground and we found ourselves outnumbered day after day. We used to stay inside for recess because outside was worse. Outside, we would have to rehearse running away or learn to stay still like statues, giving no clues we were there. In grade five, they taped a sign to the front of her desk that read, beware of dog. To this day, despite a loving husband, she doesn't think she is beautiful because of a birthmark that takes up a little less than half of her face. Kids used to say she looked like a wrong answer. Someone tried to erase, but couldn't quite get the job done. And they'll never understand that she's raising two kids whose definition of beauty begins with the word mom. Because they see her heart before they see her skin. Because she's only ever always been amazing. Have you ever felt like nobody was there? Have you ever felt forgotten the middle of nowhere? Have you ever felt like you could disappear? Like you could fall no one would hear? Adopted, but not because his parents opted for a different destiny. He was three when he became a mixed drink of one part left alone and two parts tragedy. Started a therapy in eighth grade, had a personality made up of tests and pills. Lived life like the uphills were mountains and the downhills were cliffs. Four fifths suicidal and a tidal wave of antidepressants and an adolescence of being called pauper. One part because of the pills and 99 parts because of the cruelty, he tried to kill himself in grade 10. When a kid who could still go home to mom and dad had the audacity to tell him, get, get over, over it, it, as a depression is something that can be remedied by any of the contents found in a first aid kit. To this day, he is a stick of TNT lit from both ends. Could describe to you in detail the way the sky bends before it's about to fall. And despite an army of friends who call him an inspiration, he remains a talking piece between people who don't understand that sometimes being drug free has less to do with addiction and more to do with sanity. Ever felt forgotten the middle of nowhere? 
Have you ever felt like you could disappear? Like you could fall and no one would hear? We weren't the only kids who grew up this way. To this day, kids are still being called names. It seems like every school has an arsenal of names being updated every year. And if a kid breaks in a school and no one around chooses to hear, are they just the background noise of a soundtrack stuck on repeat? When people say things like, kids, kids can, can be, be cruel. cruel. Every high school was a big top circus tent, and the pecking order went from acrobats to lion tamers, from clowns to carnies. All of these were miles ahead of who we really were. We, we were, were freaks, freaks, lobster claw boys and bearded ladies, oddities juggling depression and loneliness. Playing solitaire, spin the bottle, trying to kiss the wounded parts of ourselves and heal. But at night, while the others slept, we kept walking the tightrope. It was practice, and yeah, some, some of, of us, us fell. fell. In a boat in a raging black ocean, low in the water, and nowhere to go. The tiniest lifeboat with people I know. Cold, clammy, and crowded. The people smell desperate, will sink any minute, so someone must go. The tiniest lifeboat with people I know. Hugging my knees, and the captain is pointing. Well, who made her captain? Still, the weakest must go. Tiniest lifeboat of people I know. The tiniest lifeboat of people I know. ignored, not neglected, never abused, ignored. Blithely alone with people unaware of my existence besides them. They spoke about me as though I were not there. So I learned not to be. I spoke myself through days that stretched into years. Don't draw attention. Don't speak unless spoken to. Don't be the interesting one. You aren't that interesting anyway. Siblings stole the spotlight, and I let them. Being ignored is like being abused, kind of. No, not really. Being ignored is being silent and knowing what happens, even though no one else does. Being the ignored one means that you don't have the pressure to achieve. You don't exist. You are no better. No worse. Nothing at all. You are nothing at all. And eventually, you learn to appreciate that nothing at all feeling. It's freeing. You don't have to worry about things like looks because you don't get seen. Stars go unnoticed because they only exist on you. Making friends, though, is hard. How do you share like interest when you've never been important enough to have any at all? I'd ask. Figure it out, I'd tell myself. You have before. Take on the skins of people around you. Be who they want you to be. Be replaceable in a way that makes you needed. Simpler than it sounds, really. Being nothing is so freeing. So calming. So boring. And cold. And empty. Like, like the, the nothing, nothing at all you are. are.
Sometimes I wonder where I've been, who I am, do I fit in, make believe in, it's hard alone, out here on tears I've never shown out here on my own when I'm down and feeling blue ask if I'll ever be enough for you oh what do Life kept rolling her over like a piece of driftwood in the surf of an angry sea. She was intelligent and beautiful and well off. She made friends easily, yet she wasn't able to put the pieces together into any recognizable shape. She wasn't sure who she wanted to be. So she ended up being no one in particular. She made herself almost invisible. She was the person you loved so much who really wasn't there at all. If someone stood up in a crowd and raised his way out loud and raised his arm and shook his leg. You noticed him? If someone in the movie show yelled fire in the second row, this whole place is a powder cake. You noticed him? And even without clucking like a head, Everyone gets noticed now and then. Unless, of course, that person it should be. Invisible, incomprehensive me. Cellophane, Mr. Cellophane. 
Cellophane should have been my name, Mr. Cellophane, cause you can look right through me, walk right by me, and never know I'm there. Suppose you was a little cat, residing in a person's flat, who fed you fish and scratched your ears. You'd notice him. Suppose you was a woman wed and sleeping in a double bed beside one man for seven years. You'd notice him. A human being's made of more than air. With all that bulk, you're bound to see him there. Unless that human being next to you is unimpressive, undistinguished, you know who. Should have been my name, Mr. Cellophane, cause you can look right Cellophane should have been my name, Mr. Cellophane, cause you can look right through me, walk right by me, and never know I'm there, never even know I'm there. Probably go now. I hope we didn't take up too much of your time. Lying, thinking last night how to find my soul a home where water is not thirsty and bread loaf is not stone. I came up with one thing, and I don't believe I'm wrong, that nobody, no nobody, can make it out here alone. Alone. All alone. Nobody, nobody but nobody, nobody can, can make it out here, here alone. alone. There are some millionaires with money they can't use. Their wives run around like banshees. Their children sing the blues. They've got expensive doctors to cure their hearts of stone, but nobody, no nobody, can make it out here alone. Alone. All alone. Nobody, nobody but nobody can, can make, make it out here alone. alone. Now if you listen closely, I'll tell you what I know. Storm clouds are gathering. The wind is going to blow. The race of man is suffering, and I can hear the moan. Because nobody, no nobody, can make it out here alone. Alone. All alone. Nobody, nobody but, but nobody, nobody can, can make, make it out here alone. alone. Mother cannot guide you, now you're on your own, only me beside you. Sometimes people leave you halfway through the wood. Others may deceive you. You decide what's good. You decide alone. But no one is alone. Mother isn't here. Right things, who knows what she'd say? Who can say what's true? Nothing's quite so clear now. Do things, fight things, you you've lost your way. You decide, but you, you are not alone. alone. Believe me, no one is alone. No one is alone. Believe me, truly, you move just a finger. Say the slightest. 
Just don't let it go. Things will come out right now. We can make it so. Someone is on your side. No one is alone. voice of the ones you forget, the ones society regrets. Those you ridicule every day, the ones that have nothing to say. We have feelings too, okay? I am the voice of those alone, the ones abandoned and on their own. The ones that don't show the pain in their eyes, those you never saw cry. Those of us you just pass by. I am the voice of those you forget, the ones society regrets. Though you see us, you don't care whether or not we are there. And we, like shadows, slowly disappear. But they won't see it They all call me a lunatic Okay, call me a lunatic If I stand on my own, so be it Cause I have wings Yes, I can fly Around in the year. 
if you can keep your head when all about you are losing theirs but still blaming it on you, if you can wait and yet not be tired by waiting, or being lied to, yet don't deal in lies, or being hated, don't give way to hating, but yet don't look too good nor talk too wise. If you can dream, but not make dreams your master, if you can think, but not make thoughts your aim, if you can meet with triumph and disaster and treat those two impostors just the same, if you can bear, bear to hear the truth you've spoken, twisted by knaves to make a trap for fools, or see the things you gave your life to broken, and stoop and build them up with worn out tools. If you can take one heap of all your winnings and risk it all in a turn of pitch and toss, and lose, start again at your beginnings, and never breathe a word of your loss, if you can force your heart and nerve and sinew to serve your turn long after they are gone, and so hold on when there is nothing in you except the will which says to them, hold, hold on. on. If you can walk with crowds and keep your virtue, or talk with kings nor lose the common touch, if neither foe nor loving friend can hurt you, if all men count with you, but none too much, if you can fill the unforgiving minute with 60 seconds worth of distance run. And yours is the earth and everything that's in it. You will have learned. You've won. To dream the impossible dream. To fight the unbeatable foe To bear with unbearable sorrow To run where the brave dare not go To fight the unbeatable foe To love Pure and chased from afar To try when your arms are too weary To reach the unreachable star This is my quest To follow that star No matter how hopeless no matter how far to fight for the right without question or pause to be willing to march into hell for a heavenly cause and I know if I'll only be true to this glorious quest that my heart will lie peaceful and calm as I'm laid to my rest. And the world will be better for this that one man scorned and covered with scars still strong with his last ounce of courage to reach the unreachable stars. Yeah, some of us fell, but I want to tell them that all of this is just debris. Left over when we finally decide to smash all the things we thought we used to be. If you can't see anything beautiful about yourself, get a better mirror, look a little closer, stare a little longer. Because there's something inside you that made you keep trying despite everyone who told you to quit. 
You built a cast around your broken heart and you signed it yourself. You signed, they, they were wrong. wrong. Cause maybe you didn't belong to a group or a clique. Maybe they decided to pick you last for basketball or everything. Maybe you used to bring bruises and broken teeth to show and tell, but never really told. Because how can you hold your ground when everyone wants to bury you beneath it? You have to believe that they were wrong. They have to be wrong. Why else would we still be here? We grew up learning to cheer on the underdogs because we see ourselves in them. We stem in the, in the belief that we are not what we are called. We are not abandoned cars stalled out and sitting empty on some highway. And if in some way we are, don't, don't worry. worry. We only got out to walk and get gas. We are graduating members of the class of We Made It. Not the faded echoes of voices crying out names will never hurt me. Of course they did. But our lives will only ever continue to be a balancing act that has... And that has less to do with pain. And more to do with you. Have you ever felt like nobody was there? Have you ever felt forgotten in the middle of nowhere? Have you ever felt like you could disappear? Like you could fall and no one would hear? So let that lonely feeling wash away Cause maybe there's a reason to believe you'll be okay Cause when you don't feel strong enough to stand You can reach, reach out your hand And, and oh, someone will come running And I know they'll take you The sun comes streaming in Cause you'll reach up and you'll rise again If you only look around You will be found You will be found You will be found You will be found Across the silence, your voice sings
people who hide in the dark, for those who feel hopeless, for those with a broken heart. This is for every child and teen who is trying to flee from their fears, for those who cry themselves to sleep, and for those who drown in their tears. This is for all those people who hide their scars upon their wrists and their thighs. I want to remind each of you there's a reason you're alive. You are here for a purpose. You are needed in this place. You are special. You are beautiful. It doesn't matter what size, gender, or race. You are perfect just the way you are. You are priceless, a wonderful moon. You are dearly treasured by many. There, there is, is no, no one, one more important, important than you. you. do any day I will know right away soon as it shows and may go cannonball and down to the sky gleam in its eye bright as a rose who knows it's only just out of reach down the block on a beach under a tree I got a feeling there's a miracle do gonna come true coming to me Could it be? Yes, it could. Something's coming, something good. If I can wait, something's coming. I don't know what it is, but it is gonna be great. With a click, with a shock, phone will jingle, door will knock. Open the latch, something's coming. Don't know when, but it soon catch the moon. One-handed catch. Around the corner Or whistling down the river Come on, deliver to me Will it be? Yes, it will Maybe just by holding still It'll be there Come on, something, come on in. Don't be shy, meet a guy, pull up a chair. The air is humming, and something great is coming. Who knows? It's only just out of reach, down the block, on a beach, maybe tonight. Maybe tonight, maybe tonight. Do we stay silent or raise our voices? Do we give in or make our choices? This is our chance. This is our threat. This is our choice. And, and we're, we're not, not finished, finished yet. We stand together and await the light. This is our chance. This is our fight. Here we're standing, united and strong. 
We're not giving this up. We're not moving on. This is our voice. This is what we came to show. This is our choice, and we're not letting go. This is our word. You give what you get. This is our world, and we're not finished yet. We stand beside you, ready to repay our debt. We stand united, because we're not finished yet. Children are born every day, waiting for someone to trust, and dreams are dreamed every day, but left alone to rust. Raise your voices, stand up tall. You know this is unjust. Make your choices, stand up from the fall, because dreams are counting on us. I know you're scared to be strong. You have every right to be. Show the dreamers that you care. Come and stand with me. Think of the future, think of the truth, think of the lives we share. Think of our beginnings, think of our youth. We're all just a kid from somewhere. Stand with me, we're not through yet. We're getting what we gave. Hand in hand with me, strongest together. This can all be saved. Speak up for what matters because now it does. This love is caving. Speak up before we shatter. Think of the dreams we're saving. From the mountains, valleys, cities, suburbs, hamlets, and countryside, they are children of this future. All around us, they reside. Here we're standing, grasping hands. Here we're standing strong. This time we're not giving in. And, and we're, we're not, not moving, moving on. on. This, this is, is our voice. voice. This is what we came to show. This, this is, is our, our choice. choice. And we're not letting go. This is the world we live in. You give what you get. This is the word we're giving, and we're not finished yet. We stand together united. This is our chance to repay this debt. We stand beside you all. United. united. We're, we're not, not finished, finished yet. Remember how no one ever really died in the wars we fought? Because each gunshot came from our fingertips and we never really kept them loaded just in case. Because each enemy was our friend and none of it was about rights, religion, or race. It was all just pretend. Remember how we forgot? 
We spun yarn like Rumpelstiltskin spun gold, telling ghost stories, never realizing we would one day ourselves become ghosts, haunting the hallways at schools, breaking all the rules of silence in the library. We had only fingernails on chalkboards. We would scream, shout, and yell, trying to tell ourselves that what experience can teach is what no teacher taught. Remember how we forgot? Somehow we overcame. Somehow we pushed on. Somehow we've gone the distance. And in going there, we possess the freedom to map the uncharted of any and everywhere. We are unbound six feet above the ground where we will all one day rest. So until then, test the limits, test the boundaries, as if the headquarters of potential lay just beyond the world's edge. Let the belief that hope belongs to us all be the pledge we take to make the unachievable as inconceivable as the false fact that we were never really here. We were here. And our memories are as dear to us as every slow motion moment and held breath. So remember every instance before death. Every first kiss, first dance, near miss, last chance, yes, no, maybe so. Let us go the distance once more. Let us remember all the moments that were and were not, as if the point is something we can get, and what we can get is what we got. Because all we have are the times between the moments we connect each jot. So live and remember. Burn like an ember capable of starting fires, like each moment inspires the next. Like life is the context we put ourselves in, so that life becomes the next of kin, we need to notify in case of the next big bang or extinction level event. Let now be our advent. Let us live like we meant it. Let us burn like we mean it. Because, because we, we burn, burn bright. bright. Our light leaves scars on the sun. Let no one say we will be undone by time's passing. And the memories we are amassing will stand as testament that somehow we bent minds around the concept that we see others within ourselves. That self-knowledge can't be found on bookshelves. So look directly into every mirror and realize that our reflection is the first sentence to a story. And our story starts here. We, we were, were here. here.
with your bitter, twisted lies. You may trod me in the very dirt, but still, like dust, I'll rise. Does my sassiness upset you? Why are you beset with gloom? Because I walk like I've got oil wells pumping in my living room. Just like moons and like suns, with a certainty of tides, just like hope springing high, still, I'll I rise. rise. Do you want to see me broken, bowed head and lowered eyes, shoulders falling down like teardrops, weakened by my soulful cries? Does my hauntiness offend you? Don't you take it awful hard, because I laugh like I've got gold mines digging in my own backyard. You may shoot me with your words, you may cut me with your eyes, you may kill me with your hatefulness, but still, like air, I'll, I'll rise. rise. Out of the huts of history's shame, I rise. Up from a past that's rooted in pain, I rise. I'm a black ocean, leaping and wide, welling and swelling, I bear in the tide. From nights of terror and fear, I rise. Into a daybreak that's wondrously clear, I rise. Bringing the gifts my ancestors gave, I rise. I rise. I rise. I, I rise. rise. Hey!